Hey guys, it's Brayden, and welcome back to another DFFO video. And today we're going to be covering another event, but I'm a little bit late to this one because this one came out last night, but I didn't feel like recording yesterday, but it's better to be late than ever, so I guess I just do it now. But first I need to mention that I got my wisdom teeth taken out, so if I sound a little weird, that'll be why. Um, and also I have a Twitch, and I'm streaming regularly on there, so you guys can go check that out. That'll be in the description. I think it'll be the first link in the description, but other than that, let's just get right into this video. Okay, so first we have Squall's rework. Uh, it's Squall was one of the first people in this game. He was the first lost chapter. Um, as you can see in the lost chapter, he's the first one. He got into rework. Um... Pretty much, um, he's not as useless as he used to be. Um, he is a AO he does, he has an AOE attack, so you guys can use him for farming if you guys want to. I'm not gonna pull for him because he's a lot like the twins, and I already have the twins, so I don't think I need to use him. Before his adjustment, he just did largely increase his speed with uh, with his active buffs, but now with his rework, it also added a slightly rageous Mac bravery for with his re his rework, additional to his to his um, before rework ability. With his Renzo Kuken, I think that's how you say it. Before it used to do only 50% HP damage to non-targets, but now it does 100% damage to non um, to non-targets, which pretty much means he does 100% AOE damage with this attack. And lots of other stuff that the Broadway stated just for probably said better and more um, in more detail in their videos. I'll be linking those videos in the description if you guys want to check it out. And as I say, I've said multiple times, uh, I pretty much do the dumbed down version for most of these this stuff. So if you guys want the full version, you guys can check out their videos. Um, but we're just going to get to the rest of the updates because there's some more interesting stuff. Okay, so first of all, you can't forget the banners. We got the Squall. Um, I don't know his name, I'm sorry. Um, give me a sec, I need to check, uh, his name is Lael, I'm pretty sure, uh, and yes, also his EX weapon as well, um, and that is their banner, you guys can pull for them if you guys want, um, and you also, uh, this came out two days ago, but the weekly draw with Cloud and Lena and Equistus is, uh, all 35s and 15s, um, I... This is actually one of the few weekly pulls you, I'd suggest pulling for because Quistus is just so good that even um, without her EX, she's really good. Because she has um, her, with her 35 passive ability, she's able to delay a target for 3 turns, I'm pretty sure. If I got those, well I know it's, she definitely delays, but according to my friend, she delays for 3 turns. And then for Cloud, um, if you don't have 35, which I didn't, you guys can pull for that. And also Lena, which is also very good. So all these people are really good. You guys um, can pull for their weekly draw if you guys want to. Um, I don't know if the this guy is very good, Lael. Um, I don't know much about him. I can probably mention that in a future video if I make a mistake and he is good and I just don't know. Also, um, I got Vayne. I, I got him after... Um, uh, a lot, uh, after 90 tickets and, and 10 pulls, 10 multi-pulls, so it took a while, I was very sad, I was thinking I was gonna have to mercy him because of the bad luck, I'm still trying to get Zach. I've done like 100 tickets on him, or more, and, uh, and 5 multis, and I'm still sad because I don't have it, my bad luck has been extremely bad lately, also, I'm just going through all the pulls, I'm just going through all the banners at this point because I haven't reviewed any of them. Uh, she's also pretty good. Her name is Sarah. Yeah, Sarah. Uh, Sarah's pretty good. Um, she does pretty good debuffs if you guys want her. And then, no, nobody cares about this. Um, so yeah, there's the banners. Okay, so now in quest, they got this thing down here. Uh, it's called Abyss B. They said something about it in, uh, in a, I don't know what they're called. It's like the information things. The things that pop up when you first get in the game. So yeah, um, I didn't really understand it when I saw them. I don't know what the point of this is. I mean, it's it's just like you have to go down, you have to find stairs, and and each one you have to use a certain type of crystal and and type of weapon. It's really weird. It's just annoying, pretty much, because you get barely any gems and 
like I need any of those crystals because look how many crystals I have after that Mog's Gym event. Um, I have so many shards. Uh, look, I'm not going to have to be worrying for like five more of each character that I get. So, uh, it's, it's a, I don't know what the point of it is. There's probably something else that's good in it, but I have no idea. Uh, so, I don't know whether to do this or not. This is one of the few times I don't know, because it's just, it's weird. I, I've done, um, like, one floor, and I guess it gets harder. Most of it is just carries, because I don't have three yellow characters that can all throw shurikens or can throw weapons and it's annoying and just you just pretty much have to swap your teammates a bunch if if there's something else to it then please let me know in the comments because i'd like to know i i don't know what these things do um so let's get to the next thing yeah so that's it for all the stuff that came out last night but we do got this girl named rydia i'll be showing a picture on screen so she is like coming out in two days uh, and we also got, um, Warrior of Lights rework, which is coming out in this next month, along with, um, Level 70 and Crystal 70, which I don't know how far away that is, but I know they're definitely coming soon. They're already in global right now, but, um, yeah, so those are pretty exciting. There's not much else to talk about in this video. That was it for all the stuff that came out last night. If I missed anything, make sure to tell me in the comments. Thank you so much for everyone that watched to the end of this video. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.